Hi, I'm CJ, and this is my RC hobby. I'm on to part three, uh, and this is the continuing process of making a new firewall to go with the new motor. So, from the drawing, I have taken an X-Acto knife and basically augured uh, small uh, starter holes uh, that only probably go about a millimeter deep or less into the fiberglass. That's just enough to be able to center the drill bit. And I'm going to be using my drill press here. And I'm going to start by drilling out the center hole. Uh, now that was six millimeters from our measurements. Um, I do not have a metric drill bit set. They seem to be kind of hard to come by. And so I am using a 15 64ths bit, which is a little bigger than six millimeters. And that's fine. Um, or excuse me, it's a teeny bit smaller than six millimeters. And again, that's also fine because I can uh, widen the hole out a little bit with fiberglass. And sometimes when you drill, uh, especially as the bits get larger, you um, the hole can be a little bit wider widens out a little more than the bit size. Um, I have to drill the two holes to mount the motor, the actual bolts, and those were two millimeters. I'm using a 33 30 seconds bit, and that is a teeny bit larger than two millimeters, which is what I want. Um, I don't want it to be tight on the bolts. I want, if necessary, the motor to be able to uh, shift slightly, not during uh, use, but as I'm bolting it on, I, I want to make sure that in case the measurement's a teeny bit off, there's a little bit of um, flexibility in, in the bolt holes. Uh, then I have uh, also done starter uh, holes for the eight uh, air inlet holes and those I'm also going to be doing with the uh, 15 64 uh, or um, almost six millimeter drill bit. Now I'm using two different kinds of drill bits. Um, for the larger holes I'm using these bits and uh, if you if I hold this up in front of the, you can see that there's a tip. Uh, these are almost shaped like spade bits. Um, so when I uh, set things up, that tip is going to be right into one of those starter holes. It'll help keep the drill bit uh, centered and uh, keep it from wandering. It shouldn't do that with the drill press, but uh, you know there's always a little slippage and stuff like this. So that will limit that. Um, I did not have a 332nd bit of this type, so I'm just using a uh, generic drill bit uh, for the uh, mount holes, but because it's such a small bit, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't, there shouldn't be any wandering, and the little starter hole should be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and drill all those, and then after all the holes are drilled, uh, and that there aren't any problems, everything looks right, I can put the motor against the hole and, and uh, test fit it, and it's, everything is set, uh, then I can cut out this square of fiberglass and trim it down to a rough circle and then sand it to exact shape. As you can see, the firewall is all roughed out. The uh, air holes are already drilled, as is the motor. I started with the center hole and then the two motor holes and test fit the motor. One of the holes was a little off. I had to widen it out just a teeny bit. And so I, from there, I uh, bolted it on snug and traced around the, uh, the gearbox to get a new uh, center. And then I used that to uh, rescribe the uh, outer dimensions and reposition the air vent holes. Um, all the holes seem to have come out well, except for maybe this one right here, which is a little far in, but um, it's just an air vent, so that's not going to have any actual effect. 
it is hard to be precise when you're working with stuff this small and uh, it's totally being done on the fly. Um, if I had a CNC machine and I could make this out of aluminum, and I'd do it in CAD and it'd be 100% precise, but um, it's being done by hand with hand tools and fiberglass. So this is what we get. Uh, as long as the motor is in the center, uh, everything should turn out just fine. So that's what really counts. Um, the motor mounts, it's strong, um, and we're gonna have a, a functioning uh, firewall. So I'm gonna take this out back. I'm gonna use my Dremel and a sanding wheel and another grinding wheel, and I'm gonna shape this, and I'm gonna bring the fuselage with me to make sure that everything fits the way it should and I don't grind it too far. The firewall is done. It's not mounted, I've just got it in place just to show you. And uh, as I discussed earlier, I sanded this with a bit of a bevel so that it would fit in nicely, kind of wedges in place. Uh, so I will cover the actual gluing of this in another video.